Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sibi from Dr. Talks. Uh, first of all, I would like to inform you that I was able to clear NEED Super Speciality 2021 with an All India rank of 12. The advantage with this rank is that now I can choose any college of my liking in the country and uh, herein we will be discussing how I was able to do this and uh, what were my strategies in uh, the preparation towards the super specialty entrance or any entrance. Uh, these are the general, this is not specific, this is the general dictums which you need to follow in order to crack any entrance in India. So first of all, uh, the reading the whole book three times to four times out and out. This is the most common advice which I was getting and everyone who was preparing for any entrance we will get. You know, uh, in my case it was about reading Harrison out and out three times. You know, or uh, reading Braunwald because I was preparing for cardiology, reading Braunwald out and out three times uh, was the uh, most common advice that most of my seniors gave me or a uh, few of my seniors gave me. And this is the most commonly prevalent idea that you should read the standard books uh, three times and remember everything and retain them and reproduce them. Now the question is, is, is it possible or is it needed? It may be possible for some people, but what I am asking is, is it needed for you to crack this entrance? Now, uh, you can either prepare the hard way or you can go for the smart way. My suggestion is that we prepare it in a smart way. So what do you mean by smart way? My spawn way I mean that preparing those topics which can give a higher yield first then going for the entire uh, textbook. I would say 20% uh, the Pareto principle that is what I am trying to quote now the 20% of the topics will give you 80% of the results. So instead of preparing the entire text I think you should focus on the 20 at the first. Uh, once you are strong with this 20% which gives the maximum yield then you can go for the rest of the topic because there the returns is going to be very less for the amount of effort you put. So if you put your concentrated effort on these most important topics I think the result is going to be better. So now the question is how do you uh, find this 20% uh, of the topic how do you know which where to prepare where not to prepare. I think this is where uh, the previous questions comes into picture. You know, every previous question paper will have some say 100 to 100 questions, you know. These are like 100 topics. I don't want to go to the question interior. I will say well, stick to the topics. These are 100 or 200 topics, you know. Uh, from this 100 topics, uh, you should start preparing with these 100 topics, you know, the latest year questions. And this 100, and if you look at the past 5 to 10 years paper, you will know that certain topics tend to be repeated more often than the other. So these are the topics where I think you should be 100% strong because it is not a confirm that you will have a repeats from the same topic but I would say this because uh, there is high chances of uh, repeating a different question from the same topic. So you have to be stronger with these uh, topics, you start with these topics. Then uh, yeah, the other uh, thing you can do is to get this 20% uh, of the topic is the getting the help of a senior or a coaching institute because they know what to prepare or uh, what topics to prepare that is very important. Secondly, uh, take brown wall for example, you know reading the entire brown wall uh, is going to give you a certain amount of results. Rather reading the most important selected topics like periodic cardiology, uh, other congenital heart diseases, the intervention part, the diagnostic cardiology, the electrophysiology part, the uh, uh, exercise physiology all these are uh, certain hot topics you know you have to be knowing from Ron Wall because these are not given in your um, basic you know, Harrison's you have to prepare specifically therein you should know what is the most important thing and uh, where to prepare uh, those from that is very important secondly I would say uh, how do you maintain consistency uh, this is very unique at our super specialty level because by this time we will have different uh, in, um, in com family commitments. I will be working at some place, you know, the hours you can put into preparations may be variable. I would say it is all about prioritizing, you know, uh, prioritizing our preparation over the others. There are a few tips which help me prioritize better the, than uh, others. I would say I was targeting the weeks rather than going for the days, you know. Uh, my target was to complete so and so topics for this week, you know, I will say like 100 topics for a week, I will say 70 to 100 topics, I will keep it for a week and I try to complete 10 topics a day or uh, some topics a day or you can do it in a hourly basis. 
you know we have to plan for so many hours a day because this is i'm saying this because i know the days are variable there are some days where you uh, you do prepare more than what you want and there are some days where you prepare less than what you plan you know it is uh, and you tend to get off uh, stick to it and uh, you know it was it will have some sort of impact on you uh, but preparing weekly knows you are uh, planning weekly and uh, targeting weekly knows you are planning is going up and up and up that is more important and secondly i would say uh, how then um, you have to progress you know note your progresses that is very important you know i my way of doing it was i would like to uh, put my date on it and i would try to complete my uh, i mean i would try to read maximum topics and i will have all the topics which i complete once i complete i would add to the list so that acts as when, when you are feeling down and out you know that act as a source of motivation that you are going ahead in time you know you are progressing that small wins you need that to have your uh, motivation going and uh, mostly it's a self motivation you know that's uh, definitely there that should be done and uh, the other problem which i know uh, know is having a condensed material or reading from notes we know uh, in we have done so many entrances up until this point you know uh, having a notes is going definitely going to help us better for revising or uh, in the long run than uh, reading it from text but the question is how do we do we prepare notes or uh, do we use um, already the notes that is available from a printed materials you know uh, i would say that depends on the time you have if you're having a lot amount of time free times and if the exams far off you know year or year on your own years time to prepare i would say make your own notes because they are the best there's no second thoughts in it having your own handmade notes is the best one best thing to have but if there is a time constraint i would say printed notes does the job you know i didn't read uh, from hand i mean i kind of main 50% hand made notes and read uh, from the other 50% from the books and uh, i tried to make a lot of notes uh, because i started early you know it kind of gave me an edge in uh, preparing making notes but if you don't have that time cushion i think you can uh, use whatever material is it uh, you have it and that won't make a much difference i mean much difference you know most of them are pretty good most of the materials out there are pretty good it keep will fetch you the results now coming to the uh, next part this is the how do you revise you know uh, the two most important uh, areas of preparation that we tend to lack or when to kind of take it easy for is the mcq practice and the revision i would say mcq practice is pivotal because that is the one which will help your rank you know between from the that will boost your rank very much higher and then what you get with poor practice because mcq practice is more like uh, with the more you do it comes automatically you will try to tend to get the correct answers you know uh, it's more like um, it's one thing that knowing a fact it's another thing is to apply them to choose the right answer or choose the choose the lesser uh, wrong options three options you know you will have four options you get a one right options and three wrong options it's all uh, coming down to this you should be able to uh, rule out three bad options and one uh, good options you know uh, that is the uh, game here you know you, that comes with different practice and uh, practicing mcqs also gives you another advantage in that areas which you are weak or the concepts which you are wrong you know it helps you identify these areas and you should make a separate note uh, noting down the wrong facts the facts you get when you attempt an mcq that you may you may get it wrong that is may because you may not know a fact or you may have a wrong concept if you don't have a fact i think it's better if you can read in it better you can have it uh, written in a fact note it helps and hand comes in handy in revision but if you have a wrong concept i think it's imperative that you go then and there and uh, strengthen your concepts so mcq practice is pivotal and uh, it is uh, you have to be um, practicing mcqs there are a lot of sources available for uh, pg i mean uh, even a pg level uh, mcqs can also do good you know for super specialty to act as a base for a person i think uh, mcq practice is i as i said it's very imperative and coming down to the revision you know uh, my revision strategy was that uh, i was revising i was not keeping the last 15 days or 20 days for revising exclusively that's what i did you know previous years but this time i was revising it then and there 
uh, I will like I will go for one seven ten uh, one two and seven and thirty. This was my plan of revision. That is, if I go to the topics, you know, I maintain the topic what I was saying, right? I just go through it in the next day. If I did the seven topics today, I will go through it very fastly, you know. I uh, will go. In, I will try to ask questions about that, and if I try to answer it correctly, I will go through very fastly. If I make mistakes, I will go through the notes once again. So by the third time or fourth time, when you we keep revising it, uh, it kind of sticks it. You know, it kind of sticks it in your brain. And uh, secondly, you have to go for the topics where you are weak. You have to raise them very frequently. It's not about having a few strong topics. It's about having a baseline of strength. You know, you have to strengthen your weakness, and you can strengthen your weakness by revising it, uh, revise those topics uh, effectively well. So, if you are able to give your give in your hundred hundred one hundred percent, I am sure uh, you can easily crack this examination. So, I wish you all the best for you are who are planning to prepare for the need super speciality, and uh, thank you.